Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're playing the game The Dream Machine. This is chapter one and two. Chapter one and two is over on Steam for $3.99. You can then buy each additional chapter for around $4, or you can bundle it together. There's like a bundle of the rest of the chapters that you can also purchase at a 15% discount, and the links to all that will be in the description, so you can check it out. This game is really, really cool looking to me. Everything's handmade through like claymation and broccoli and physical stuff which I I love. I love claymation, and I like the look of this character, and I can see all of the lines carved into him. Um, this video is brought to you in part by the lovely people on Patreon who continue to support me so I can play loads of indie games. So if you'd like to support me as well, there'll be links in the description. All right, let's play. Yeah, so here's the other chapters, and there's more, I think, than six, but yeah. All right, chapter one, we are like the dreamer. We are like the spider. We weave our life and then move along in it. We are like the dreamer who dreams and then lives in the dream. No, I don't want to skip intro. No, I don't want to skip the intro. Sorry, I thought that I was meant to click when I was done reading, but I'm not. The Dream Machine, Chapter 1. Game by Anders. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I'll get it wrong. And Eric. I think I am going to skip the intro. Alright, so we can scroll over things. Let's pick up stuff. Also this. Also this. Pick up the wood. So this bit of wood. It's a fork branch jutting out of the sand. I bet you can put your fishing rod on it. Alright. Shovel, why are we on this island? Who knows? I don't think my body could ignite those um, logs. Don't worry, we have a lighter. Yeah, well, do you want to light it in your inventory? Yeah, maybe I should put it by fire first. Okay. What's this? Examine wreck. The boat has been smashed against that rock. How did I end up here? Is that how I end up here? It's strange that I can't remember something like that. I've placed the fishing rod on the forked branch. The fish don't seem too interested in biting it, though. Are those coconuts? Alright, let's dig, maybe? Do we get worms? We do get, look at that. It's a really neat texture in the clay. Can I dig some more? We got a fish. Now we can eat it. I can't bear to skewer the poor thing while it's still alive. And hit it with a rock. Uh, that seems to have killed the fish. There you go. Let's let that cook. Do we need to get more worms? Hitting the rock with a shovel won't achieve anything. The fish isn't quite done yet. Okay. That's fine. We shall wait for the fish to be done. What a neat looking character. Alright, do you want to eat it? This fish looks ready to eat. Why don't you eat it then? It tastes great, but what's this? There's a piece of paper in the belly of the fish. It's a map. Alright, tree, tree, rock, rock. Right here. That's interesting. What were the odds I'd get that fish? It's a clock. There's the island I was at. It's a picture behind me. That's super interesting. Oh, auto saving. Alright. So let's walk around our room and examine stuff. 
This must have belonged to the previous inhabitants. It doesn't work. These boxes are all we managed to move here last night. The rest of them, along with the furniture, should arrive later today. These uh, two contain books, mostly. It says baby clothes on the label. All right. These two are filled to the brim with crime novels. Alicia? Alicia? Alica? Uh, Alicia? Let's call her Alicia. Likes them. It's an old ventilation grate. That painting seems a lot like my dream. I must have fallen asleep looking at it. It has a kind of tacky charm that Alicia usually hates. Okay. Oh, do we have a kid? This is the nursery. My old axe. A reminder of my dream of becoming a stage musician. Once we're settled in, I'll try to get the music career brewing again. Or boxes, they contain vinyls, contain parenting reading material. I'll dig through it as soon as we're sensible. This box is open. It's got like notebooks. Ooh, we can kind of rustle around in it. Well, there's some like dolls. And a phone. Alright, we've got a telephone. I kind of want to take one of these dolls with me. They're really adorable. They almost look like walkie talkies. You know? Alright. Oh, you're awake. I thought I'd surprise you with breakfast in bed. Aw, oh, that's sweet of you. I know. Aren't I sweet? It's almost done. Could you set the table for us? The shipment hasn't arrived yet, honey. It doesn't have to be a table. Anything square and flat will do for now. Just grab an empty box or something. Of course, darling. Thanks, honey. This is a nice house. Um, some wilted plants probably left here by the previous tenant. I need to, like, actually set the table, though. These three contain knickknacks from a modern living room. An ashtray. Pick up crumpled up paper. It seems like the remains of the letter someone tried to destroy, but the fire didn't consume it entirely. If I unfold it carefully, I might be able to read it. That should do it. I'd better be careful when I rotate the pieces. They look very delicate. Alright, to whom? How do we rotate it? No. To whom it may concern. That's a corner piece. How do I rotate things? Travis, the previous tenant. It goes like this, 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 this. To whom it may concern, I'm hiding this in the hopes that... You won't find something under the floorboard, light switch in the bedroom, the previous tenant. Okay, I'll look at that later. I'm meant to be setting the table for my lovely wife. This is the bathroom. Alright, only one hanger. Presumably the previous tenant was single. So this is some lotion and stuff. Okay, so just miscellaneous things. Uh, maybe we should like grab the dishes. No, grab the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. We need to go to the market today. An empty fridge is a depressing sight. One sec. A bird key was chewing up my mouse pad again, so I put him away. Is there anything in the drawer I need? Do we have like a tablecloth? Hmm. Guess we'll go this way. Seven boxes. All of your clothes. Pick up mail. Let's examine mail. Open letter. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Neff, thank you for choosing Prosper and Antrovic's retailer service. Re 
uh, realtor service. We hope you enjoy your new home for many years to come. If you have any questions regarding your service or if you have any questions regarding the apartment maintenance issues, please don't hesitate to direct them to our head office. We look forward to serving you again. I thank you. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Christmas decorations. Things for the hallway. Shoe collection. Her favorite coat. She wore it on our first date. Have an installed light. What? There's no lights in this house? There are no lights here yet. That's weird. You have a house without lights. Is that normal? I mean, both houses I've moved into have already had lights. But, I mean, that's just me. I want a sheet to put over the box. I have no light fixing it. Hmm. I guess we'll go back in here. Honey, I set up a box. What else do you want? Have you found something to put the breakfast on? Yeah, I put a box over there. In the corner. Great, then let's eat. Just sit down and I'll bring us breakfast. Okay. I was going to try to get you like a something, like a tablecloth. But, yeah. Okay. Aw. Isn't it this magical? Our first breakfast in our new apartment. I could use some candles at the very least. If I knew what box they were in, I'd go get them. And, but how was it? How was what, dear? Your first night in our new home. Did you sleep well? Mm. I dreamt a lot. I can't say I've been sleeping all that deeply. Oh, what did you dream about? I dreamt I was alone on a small island. What did you do? Um, I caught it. I started a fire. By rubbing twigs together? No, I found a lighter. How convenient for a desert island. It seems pretty well stocked. That's true. I hadn't thought about that. Then what? I caught a fish. With your bare hands? No, I had a pole. Ah, oh, poor fish. That's almost cheating, isn't it? It was him or me, basically. Then what did you do? I dug up a worm from the ground. Did you use it to bait the hook? Yeah. Do you always dream about torturing small defenseless animals? Only in my good dreams. That's why I love you, I guess. I found a note in the fish. Oh wow, what did it say? It was a treasure map. How exciting, did you find the treasure? I was about to, but then the alarm clock went off and the ground must have fused with my dream. That's when I woke up. It's strange how the mind incorporates real things into dreams like that. I've read that it does that in order for us to get our precious rest no matter what. It only wakes you up if it thinks you're in danger. It's comforting to know that my mind is looking out for me even when I'm sleeping. But what do you think it means? What what means? Your dream, silly. Um, I don't know. What do you think it means? You want my appeasing bullshit answer? Or do you want to know what I really think? I want to. Uh, I want to know the truth, of course. It sounds pretty much like your standard escapist fare. You're scared of your new situation, and you're longing to go back to a simpler, the simpler life we had before. Oh, the old cushy job, your old slacker friends. I'm just dissing his friends casually. You know, that's not true. Moving here, trying to raise a family with you, it's going to be the best thing I've ever done. It sounds like you're viewing it like some grand adventure. It was just a dream, Alicia. Alyssa? How, what did we decide her name was? Alyssa? You're taking it too seriously. I'm sorry, Victor. I guess the force of pregnant mood swings is strong with me today. Don't I know it. <laughs> so how was your first night? I slept quite well, actually. Wow, you must have been dead tired then. Yeah, usually I can hardly sleep in at all in unfamiliar places. Did you dream about anything? I dreamt I was on a luxury cruise through the Mediterranean. It was I was on the deck in a fold-out chair, belong um, in the chair being served umbrella drinks. You've dreamt that before, haven't you? Yeah, it's a recurring dream. It'll haunt me until the day you buy us that luxury cruise. Haunt us both then. This is quite a breakfast. How long have you been up? Since about nine, I think. I was having a dream, but after a while it turned weird. That's when I woke up. Fair enough. What happened? Well, do you remember the caretaker that let us in last night? Yeah, I can remember. I can't remember his name though. Me neither. Norton, Morton, Horton, something like that. He was in my dream. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. To be honest, he sort of creeped me out. I thought he seemed pretty nice. He was nice in real life. The dream version of him was kind of creepy. What did the caretaker do in your dream? Can we talk about this later, Victor? I'm still a bit disturbed by it. Speaking of the caretaker, he has our key, doesn't he? Yeah, he said he'd stop by with the duplicate this morning, but he must have forgotten. 
I'd better call him then. Sounds like a plan. I'll go wash the dishes while you give him a call. You want me to help you with that? Stop pampering me, dear. I'm fine. Aw. No, no, can we, can we ask her about the note, though? I think we should have probably talked about the note during breakfast. So let's, let's talk to her. Have you managed to get a hold of the caretaker? What do you think of this note I found? Hmm, let me see. I think it might be a hoax. It sounds too good to be true otherwise. Like something you've read in a criminal novel. He probably left us the present under the floorboards and wanted to rile us up a bit before we found it. Doesn't the fact that someone tried to destroy the note lend it some creden uh, credit? credit? Nah, he probably did that himself to make it seem more mysterious. He seems to have made sure that we can read the important parts at least. Either way, I think we should check what's under the floorboards under the bed then. You do that, honey. <laughs> you're not gonna come with me. I understand you're pregnant, but I at least could use you for emotional support. I mean... How do I check the floorboards under the bed? She pieced it together though, didn't she? No. Okay, everything's rotated well though, so let's read it. I think we need to go down a bit more. There we go. Yeah, let's go over here. I'm, like really particular about exactly where I wanna place this. But that's just because sometimes I have trouble reading things in weird fonts, especially things that are all messed up. So I feel like that kinda goes here. Okay. To whom it may concern, I'm hiding something in hopes that someone would be able to find something. Um, I know uh, I'm not paranoid. Look under the floorboards below the light switch in the bedroom, and then you'll see what you'll see what I mean. Whatever that thing is, mine, and I'm not staying around to something. What it does, perhaps you'll be able to figure it out. All right. So underneath the light switch. Um, the board is nailed to the floor. I can't get it up with my bare hands. Alright, well. It's our old phone. That painting. I must have fallen asleep. Okay. Yeah, but let's... I've committed the number to memory. How do we use a phone? Let's plug the phone in. It's not the right type of outlet. What's the right type of outlet, then? Is this an outlet? No, it's a button. Okay. Hello? Anyone there? Can we do this? Alright. Is this the right type of, like, plug? It's not the right type of outlet. There's another, like, button. There are no lights. Okay. Alright, she's doing the dishes. That's fine. I talked to myself enough as it is. Alright. Is that the right power outlet? It's not the right type of outlet. No. Nah. Something on the floorboards. There's a phone that I can't seem to figure out how to call. I don't know what other type of outlet there is. I mean, there is an outlet. Is that the right outlet? It's actually like there's stuff in the way. It's used to. It's really old, but runs perfectly. They don't build things like this anymore. Okay. These are much nicer than our old apartments. I miss being close to nature, though. I'm in a city. The box says Victor's clothes. Okay. Mm, bed spreads. Nothing that'll really help us. And also, let's talk to her. I have the number. I have the phone. Where do you want me to plug it in? Have you managed to get a hold of the caretaker? I found the phone, but I can't seem to find any outlet to put it in. I'm sure it's somewhere around here. Have you checked everywhere? I guess not. Maybe the hallway. Thank you, honey. You're the best. Do we put it in this thing? No. There's no outlet in the hallway. What do you... A box contains Christmas stuff. Ah, okay. You need to move something. There you go. Um, let's call them because we need our key. I hate having to chase people up about stuff that should be their job. Prosser, Prosser and uh, Anko Witch, how may I help you? Hi, yeah, hi, my name is uh, Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved into an apartment arranged by your company. Why, hello, Mr. Neff, what can I do for you? Um, 
I'm trying to reach the caretaker of this building. You wouldn't happen to have his number, would you? What's the address of the building? I'm sorry, I don't know. We just moved in yesterday. I can't recall the exact address. Oh, don't worry. It'll come to you. You probably have written it down somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure I must have seen it someplace. Call me back when you... I, I had more questions, sir. It's probably on this letter. I mean, maybe on the envelope. Yeah, okay. Let's call him back. How may I help you? Hi, yes, it's Victor. I have another question for you. Hello again. What can I help you with this time? What kind of service? Our main service is that of a realtor, but we also extend a bit beyond that. We basically connect people looking for apartments with people who have apartments to rent or sell. But if you ever need help with things like renting furniture or negotiating leases, we also provide those types of services. Did that answer your question? Yeah, it's good to know. Was that all? I'm trying to reach the caretaker of the building. What's the address? This one. It's the old building behind Asper Square, right? I think so. I'm new in town, so I don't know where everything is just yet. Let me see here. I'm not finding any caretakers at that address. You wouldn't happen to know his name, would you? Um, I think it's Norton. Norton. It might have been it. Uh, it might have been. I was really tired last night, though. No, I'm not drawing a blank. Could have been something else. Horton. It sure sounds like it, but I wasn't really concentrating. Nope, must have been something else. No Hortons at this address. Could have been somewhere else. Could have been Morton. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I have a Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, not the caretaker. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must be the same guy. His number is blah. Right, got it. Is there anything else you need? No, I'm fine for now, thank you. Alright, bye. Let's call the caretaker. Morton here. Hello, it's Victor Neff from the second floor. The couple you let in yesterday. Yes, hello, Mr. Neff. Are you settling in all right? Everything is fine, thanks. But I was just wondering when you'd be around to deliver the spare key that you mentioned last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd all but forgotten about that. Here, yeah, I figured you might have. I'll be right up. Thanks. Okay. Let's go talk to her. She was right. It was totally in there. <laughs> have you managed to get a hold of the caretaker? Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. He'll be right up with the keys. Great, it'd be nice to have keys to her own place. Let's talk about your dream. I just got distracted. So what was your dream about? You really want to hear it? It's a bit graphic considering that you just ate. I've read about pregnancy dreams. I think I can handle it. Are you studying up on pregnancy? Of course, I want to share what you're going through as much as I can. You just might make a good father after all. Anyway, I was sipping my drink in the sun deck, and then I heard the running water, so I came looking for a source when I noticed where the water came from me. Um. Uh. What happened then? So I'm sitting there feeling embarrassed in front of crew members, and I remember trying to cover my lady bits with a towel. But by this point, I'm gushing out of me, basically, so it's like the towel isn't doing any good. And I'm sitting there smiling uh, apologetically to the crowd around me, and then I hear a sound, like a cork popping out of a champagne bottle. And when I look down between my legs, I'm fully dressed with man with little man shouts out of me and flops down on the deck. As some people from the crowd help him up, I see who it is, the caretaker from last night. He gets up and brushes the water from his coat and looks at my private parts and casually says, That's the most interesting entryway to date. I'll have to make none a note of that in my journal. I don't want to hear none of this. I understand it's a bit graphic. Yeah, I thought I could take it, but it's a bit too much. I just wanted to answer the door. I wish it was an option to... Can we talk about this in a second? Because I'm really curious about her dream. But the doorbell keeps ringing and I did just call them, so... Hello? Hello. Alright. Oh, he is creepy. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Here's a spare key. Awesome, thanks. Did you find the apartment order? Everything seems fine, but I'll know more when I had a chance to live here a bit longer. Well, just tell me if you, anything needs fixing. Was that all? I'm a bit confused what to call you. Are the caretaker or the landlord? The reason I'm asking is because Prosper and Archivit didn't have you listed as a caretaker. I can see that that would be confusing. My family's owned this house for four generations. I rent out the apartments I don't need and try to take care of the estate as best as I can, making me both the caretaker of the house and your landlord. I see. Was there anything else? If I need you again, I'll just give you a call, right? Either that or come visit me in my office downstairs. Did you see it yesterday when you arrived? No, I guess I must have been pretty tired. Just ring the doorbell. I live. I both live and work there, so I can pretty much be found there at all times. You live in your office. Oh, the office is just my front room. My apartment extends further in. You had me worried there for a second. Was there anything else? That's all for now. 
And I'll be headed off downstairs. Just give me a call if you need me. Will do. I must have like a live-in landlord. All right, let's talk about your dream. Was that Mr. Morton I heard in the hallway? He was here to drop off the keys. Did you get the creepy vibe of him? Can't say I did. He seems quite nice to me. Uh, let's finish your dream. Um, you really want to hear it. It's a bit graphic. Okay. I'm going to go through the same options I did before so that we can get to the same spot. Um, it's an odd thing to say after being born. He sounds like a profession, uh, professor. Then, um, then what? That's when I woke up. It's an odd thing to say after being born. And does entryway mean that you're going to go back at some point? Ugh. <laughs> he made it. Must have made quite the impression. Thought he seemed nice last night, but dreaming this. Yeah, I can see how it'd be weird seeing him again after that. I'll get over it. I just need a little time. No, no, no. One more thing. One more thing. Anything you want, my love. She's so kind. I'm just bugging her a whole lot. I think I'll go downstairs and see if the moving firm has arrived. You do that, Victor. Okay. Bye. I don't like that the bathroom is just off of the kitchen. Can we change that? Let's just move the bathroom. Let's go downstairs. Sure, she'll be fine. Left apartment door. Ah, oh, that was kind of loud. Ah, uh, I thought that might happen. You're one of the new tenants, aren't you? That's right, I'm Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved across the hall from you. Why, hello there, young fella. I'm Eddie Jones. I'm the resident senior in this house. I'm see uh, I'm seem to having a problem with the elevator. The door jams every once in a while. You'd be well advised to keep some sort of grease product handy to use on the hinges you see. I'll lend you some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. It's okay, I'll probably be able to find something. Um, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, not at all. I'm just having a few friends over for bridge, but they're about as fast as glaciers. They don't even notice I'm gone for a few minutes. Did you say that your name's Victor Neff? Like the actor? Like the actor, but he lived a bit before my time, though. But you two must be related, surely. Not related, I'm afraid. I've never seen any of his movies either, to be honest. Oh, you're missing out, then. He had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a boxer, see, before he took up acting. And then I assure you our similarities end with our names. You seem like such a polite young man, unlike the caretaker here. Mr. Morton? Yeah, that's the one. What do you know about him? As much as I care to. I've lived up here long enough to see him grow up. I knew his father quite well. He was the caretaker prior to little Felix, a wonderful man. Unfortunately, the apple fell far from the tree in this case. You don't like him. How could I? He tried to get me evicted as soon as his father died. Fortunately, I've got connections with the housing board in this town. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm afraid I'm being rude to my guests. A game of bridge between three is, after all, not a game of bridge at all. See you later, Mr. Jones. Call me Eddie. Everyone does. Bye then, Eddie. Goodbye, dear. He seemed very kind. Um, so fire equipment. Door is locked. By any chance, does my key do it? It's not the right key. Stairwell looks out of order, so I'm trapped. Stairwell seems off, judging by the hazardous tape. I'd say it's probably hazardous, okay. Well, I feel like my landlord should take care of the issues with his stairwell and elevator, because that's not acceptable. No reply. I guess he's out. That's crap. Hey, honey, it's the elevator and the stairs are jammed. Hope you don't mind. We have nothing in the fridge. We have no butter. Examine oven. It's still hot. The old stove takes a while to cool. Okay. Do you want anything? Hmm, let me see. I'm just letting her look at the note. I think it might be a hoax. It sounds too good to be true. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I can't really leave, because the elevator's broken, everything's broken. Hmm. Can't check the floorboards, because I don't have a thing to open it with. Is there any, like, screwdrivers or anything in here that I missed? I really love interesting-looking point-and-click adventures. 
I want this. I want to take this with me. I want this to just be my friend. Maybe it's a baby monitor to hang in the crib and then one goes in our bedroom so that we could hear the baby. Alright, we can't get it open. I feel like I've looked in all of the boxes, but maybe there's, you know, something else. I feel like I've basically clicked on everything. I don't get why the light doesn't work. I feel like that's important that the lamp doesn't work. Reminder from the good old days. What's in the box we used as a table? What are in these boxes? I've outgrown uh, baby clothes donated by thoughtful relatives. Some outgrown baby clothes, okay. The relatives are very kind people. Is there anything else in the scene? No. I like the close-ups on the handmade things. Because all of the graphics are like so hand created. I know handmade isn't the good word, uh, the right word because like when you draw graphics or make Pixar it's still hand created. But you know what I mean, right? Sort of physically made close-ups on these clay things are quite interesting. Quite nice to see. It contains blankets. I don't know how to get out. So... Eddie, I literally have nothing. That wouldn't be very polite. Don't want to upset our new neighbors. The elevator has already arrived. Do I have the right key? Fire equipment. Okay. Well, I'm not quite sure where to go from here, so maybe it's a good time to stop. But yeah, if you want to check out this game for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. And it's got plenty of other chapters as well as this, these first two. I'm only in chapter one, so I really touched base on it. Um, but there'll be a link in the description if you want to check me out. Main for Wall Street description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Bye.